for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Mark Curtis and I'm Karima Devine. Overdose deaths in Arizona have more than doubled in the last five years. That is according to the state health department and on for almost a year now, syringe exchange programs have been legal in Arizona. Team 12's Colleen Sakura takes us to a program in the East Valley that says in their nine months of operation, they're seeing real progress. If you ask Priscilla Juarez to describe her story, a blessing. It's been a blessing. It includes addiction is it's not easy. Almost 15 years, she says she was addicted to opiates. If I didn't go the through through the things that I went through in my addiction, I wouldn't be the person who I am today. And now seven months clean. I was out there on the streets. Um, I just found out I was pregnant. I wanted to quit. I just didn't know how. I didn't know where to begin. That's where Sebastian Thomas comes in. Priscilla was one of the first people that I outreached. He started a syringe service program in January through New Hope Behavioral Health Center in East Mesa, giving out syringes to people experiencing homelessness in sharps containers, Narcan, and more. We want to make sure that folks are not sharing syringes that they are using. Sebastian is the outreach coordinator at New Hope and is in recovery himself, almost eight years clean. Unfortunately, uh, being in recovery, I have a lot of friends that are not in recovery. Mm -hmm. And I've lost a lot of friends to overdoses, including my best friend, Paul. Sebastian says he lost Paul in 2019. I'm trying to prevent many more Pauls. The programs did face some pushback in the legislature where some worried it could encourage drug use. They were all using drugs before I came along. And so, the only thing that I'm helping these people to do is I'm helping them to stay alive and stay healthy. The CDC says research shows those in syringe service programs are five times more likely to enter treatment and three times more likely to stop using drugs. And these programs have now been legal in Arizona for a year. Regardless if a person uses drugs or not, you know, they're still a person and they still uh, deserve to live. Priscilla is one example. I'm finding a way to learn to love myself again and to say, OK, I made mistakes, but that's OK. Today, I don't have to make those same mistakes. Finding this program led to more blessings. She's back to school in transitional housing and staying clean. Today, I, I can have a different life. Now, in addition, Sebastian is also handing out Narcan, and he says his clients have told him that they've used it, hoping it saved dozens from overdoses. There are a lot of programs out there, but this one really seems to work. Why is that? Well, you know, they're they're helping not only prevent disease, right, from sharing needles, but they're also out there talking to folks, right? Um, they're educating them on, okay, what to look for in an overdose. They've got the Narcan as well, you know, and, and also able to give them resources for uh, to help them get off the drugs like, like Priscilla. And, and what about our elected officials? What are they doing? You know, I've talked with both of the county, the, the uh, candidates for county attorney this week. They've got very different approaches, right? Um, we talked about uh, several things from, um, you know, uh, the, the illegal drug sales uh, to uh, how to curb overdoses, and they've, they've got different approaches. And so we obviously know there's both a criminal justice side to this as well as a public health issue. All right, Colleen, thanks a lot. We just want to let you know, if you or someone that you know is struggling with addiction or substance abuse, there is help out there. You can call the Arizona Substance Abuse Hotline at 602-364-4558 or just dial 211. And once you do that, you'll be connected with an expert who can give you help completely confidentially 24 hours a day, every day of the year.